Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to go through problem 7. Um, problem 7 says if arc sine x is equal to ln of y, then dy dx equals. So it's asking for the derivative. The function is given implicitly, so we need to find the derivative use, using implicit differentiation. Uh, recall that um, arc sine x, which is the same as uh, sine inverse of x, has the following derivative which is to say d dx of arc sine x, and I'll just write sine inverse prime, and that derivative is equal to one over the square root of one minus x squared. Okay, so remembering that, this is easy um, job then, because taking, let's write our function, so it's arc sine, ah, arc sine x, and then that equals ln of y. Taking the derivative implicitly, we have 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And then on the right side, the derivative of this is 1 over y. And chain rule says the derivative of the inside, which is dy dx. So then um, solving for dy dx, because that's what we're asked for, we get that dy dx will have to equal uh, y times 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, which is y over root 1 minus x squared. There. So um, that is that answer choice. I actually thought that they would want dy dx all in terms of x, so I was trying to solve for y. And if you did that, you would use um, this first initial relationship, right? But knowing that um, arc sine x is equal to ln of y, you take e of both sides to write that uh, y will equal e to the arc sine of x. But notice that there's no answer choice that um, comes with replacing that y with e to the arc sine of x and still having the same denominator. Um, these two, but neither of them had the same denominator. So. It's clear, we're even more certain that answer choice A is the correct answer. Although, I didn't circle it in red and that's your tradition, so I must take care.